Good morning, and welcome back to the Ram Report Morning Show. I'm your host, Laura Pavlovic, as always, bringing you the Heights Town Scoop. Due to Corona, our students have had trouble keeping up with the Heights Town sports teams. That's why we're here to help. Here's Matthew Salter with our sports recap. It's been a big week here at HHS for our winter sports teams. To start, the boys basketball team pulled off a huge upset over the CBC favorites, the Nottingham North Stars, who started the game with an impressive 7-1 record. The Rams won by a score of 87-84, led by Ali Ahmed with 19 points and Jordan Schwarzenegger Sands with 18 points. The boys advanced their record to 5-4. The girls basketball team improved their record to an impressive 6-2 with a dominant win over Nottingham, 52-15. Kelly McAleer led our Lady Rams with 70 points and Isabella Benitez followed with 10. We also have the swim team back in action. The meets are virtual, meaning each team swims in their own pool and the results are compared and announced. Definitely not the same as competing in person, but being back in the pool is a welcomed event. The boys and girls both saw dominant wins over Nottingham, going 1-1. One and one. HHS had a clean sweep over Nottingham North Stars in all winter sports last week. Way to go, Rams. I'm Matthew Sotha with the Ram Report. Back to you. Thanks, Matt. And good luck to our sports teams as they try to compete for a 2021 division title. Following up on our previous coverage of the legalization of marijuana in New Jersey, we have an important update. This Monday, Governor Phil Murphy signed legalization which both legalizes and decriminalizes cannabis, meaning a regulated marketplace will start to take shape in the coming months. Remember, Rams, that recreational marijuana use remains illegal for people under the age of 21. Who doesn't love binge-watching movies? Well, theaters are opening up with new upcoming blockbuster films. Here's Talak Patel with more information. Hi, Stan Movie Fanatics. As we all know, COVID ruined all of our plans to watch our favorite blockbuster movies on the big screen this past summer. But you'll be happy to hear that Picture Show at East Windsor is opening this Friday, February 26th, showing Tom and Jerry. It might be only one movie, but it's better than nothing. It will run for a week, and the week following from March 5th, it will feature Raya, The Last Dragon. Of course, guidelines will be considered, and wearing a mask and taking safety precautions. 2021 is bringing us some blockbuster and potentially record-breaking movies such as Venom 2, Black Widow, Mortal Kombat, and The Suicide Squad. I am Tilak Patel for Ram Report. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Tilak. Hope you guys are excited to hear about the reopening of Picture Show at East Windsor. Last week, frigid weather and catastrophe unfolded in Texas, causing damage, death, and even a Cancun trip. Here's Parker Benick with more information. Obviously here in New Jersey, we've become accustomed to our yearly snow. But in several parts of America, snow is not seen very often. Included in these parts is the state of Texas, which was recently bombarded with extremely high snow totals. As much as we're used to it here in Heistown, New Jersey, for a place that rarely sees snow, there are bound to be drastic problems. And there certainly were in Texas, with millions losing power and heat in the freezing cold due to a complete crash of the power grid. Luckily, most of the residents now have been able to regain their power, but millions are still being advised to boil their water prior to use. And for many families, the damage has already been done, with an estimate around 80 people having lost their lives due to various causes, hypothermia, carbon monoxide poisoning, and car crashes, all related to the recent winter weather. Hopefully the situation is able to be fully resolved in a prompt and effective manner so that this never happens again. I'm Parker Benick with the Ram Report, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Parker. Luckily for Texans, it'll be nearly 80 degrees warmer in the state this week compared to last week. We're all pulling for Texas's safety. While fast food may not be for everyone, it's hard to deny the cultural importance of McDonald's. And we've got Josh Carmona here to review their latest item. Rams, you may have thought that the Ram Report food reviews had ended with the conclusion of the pizza saga. However, our commitment to giving you the best information possible means we can never rest. And a brand new challenger has just arrived, poised to shift the balance of the food landscape as we know it. This of course is McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich, which is poised to take on the likes of Popeyes, whose sandwiches are universally well regarded. We're here to ask the question, 
Can McDonald's topple Popeye's chicken sandwich empire? Well, for the sake of uh, this demonstration, let's keep things simple. We're going to rate the sandwich on three criteria. Ingredient balance, chicken quality, which also means crispiness, and uh, value for money. A perfect 3 out of 3 means it's just as good as Popeye's golden standard. Now let's go check it out. Okay, I've got right here the sandwich, and it's time to check out what's really going on inside. Now, this bag is quite reminiscent of the uh, the Popeyes bag that their sandwiches come in, which I think is a very deliberate move, and uh, it's definitely worth noting. So, I'm gonna try out the sandwich and uh, tell you what I think. Okay, so referring back to our criteria, in terms of ingredient balance, I'm very disappointed. Uh, this is just chicken and, uh, and pickles and bread, and there hardly were any pickles. I think this could definitely use mayo. There's, there's just not a lot going on here. It's a very, very dry sandwich. The chicken quality, it's good. It's crispy, as they, as they said, and I think that's it's quite all right, but it's just what's around it that's not so impressive. In terms of value for money, I just don't, I don't see this being any kind of competition for Popeye's sandwich, which is ultimately leagues ahead and um, is worth every cent more that it would cost. Um, I'm going to give this a, uh, a one out of three Rams. It's, I'm honestly really bummed. Thanks. I'm Josh Carmona. Back to you. Mmm, scrumptious. Thanks, Josh, for breaking down the details of what looks to be a delicious sandwich. Go get yours now at the local McDonald's on Route 130 or Route 33. Well, that brings this episode to a close. Thanks for tuning in, and come back next week for more Heights Town News. Stay safe, have a good weekend, and as always, have a ramtastic day.